Hi, this is Matt with the Ramsey Voice Studio. Lots of people want to learn to sing, but many people wonder whether singing is a talent you're born with or one that you have to practice. So, as an experiment, I wanted to film a lesson with a singer that's never had any instruction before. And if it didn't turn out well, that's fine. But I wanted to show that vocal technique really was the key to getting a student to sing better. I teach the same vocal method used by singers like Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, and Kelly Clarkson. But the reason I teach this technique is because of how quickly it can turn a good singer into a great singer. This is Jenna. Jenna's a local actress and aspiring singer. And at the time of filming, Jenna had never had a voice lesson before. Also, I had never heard Jenna sing, so we could both be sure we were coming at it cold. In fact, Jenna had only begun singing a year ago when she wrote her first song. I wanted to see how quickly we could get Jenna singing better. So, we had one 60-minute singing lesson, and here were the results. Are you um, performing sort of... live anywhere? No. no. <laughs> I don't perform live anywhere. I did do karaoke, uh, more folksy stuff. Okay. And anything that is not folksy, I turn folksy. I, I feel like I'm really, um, not really, but I feel like I'm kind of pitchy. Like my vocal range is kind of pretty small, loud belting kind of stuff that I really wish that I really, really want to do that kind of thing. The first thing I want to do as a voice teacher is get a feel for Jenna's range. One of the quickest ways of testing her voice is having her sing an ah vowel on a scale. This will reveal her vocal problems pretty much immediately. Say ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, good. I want you to say ah. <laughs> cool. So I heard that we needed to get Jenna singing a bit more strongly. That'll fix the break that she has as she sings higher. So step one is getting her to sing as strongly as she speaks. One, two, one. Good. One, one, two, one. One, one, two, one. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Jenna does pretty well on this exercise. She went from singing really breathy and light to using her voice a lot stronger, which is exactly what we needed. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Good. Do you feel how that's a lot stronger yeah. already? Um, I feel a lot more resonation mm -hmm. here. Um, I, it's much louder, like I can actually hear myself. And why is there that big difference? You know, people don't have tension in their voices when they speak. So let's see if we can apply some of that to your singing. Good, you're right. Keep it there. So the problem is that even though she's singing stronger at the bottom of her voice, she's still breaking on those high notes. Did you feel that kind of, that <laughs> happening? It was kind of yeah. uh, tentative? <laughs> just go there, just go there. One, one, one. Right. This is where the breakthrough happens. By asking Jenna to be more aggressive on those high notes, she totally fixes her break. The only problem is that it's easy to strain when you're belting those high notes. So I give her a weird exercise with a bratty sound to help her out. And even though it sounds funny, it really works. Now Jenna's starting to hit those high notes without breaking or straining, and that's the whole idea. I feel like I'm hitting those higher notes better because I'm putting more behind it yes. as opposed to just being reserved and really pushing for it, and right. I'm kind of surprising myself a little bit. And then you just kind of let go a little bit. You're like, I did. Nay, nay, nay. Even though she backs off of those high notes now and then, focusing on the bratty sound really helps her hit them stronger. Hey, does it feel tired? Not, Any of that stuff yet? It did before, but much less so now. Good. Now that her voice is warmed up, it's time to sing a song. We can do exercises all day, but singing a song is where the rubber really hits the road. <clears throat> Oh, 
I'm sorry, this is really scary for me. It's okay. It's quite all right. Don't worry about it. Pretend the camera's not here. Just pretend like you're just in your room, practicing it. Just do your best. Let her know if I'm wrong, cause she's only just gone. Here's to another relationship bombed by my excellent breed of gametes disease. Sure, when I'm older, I'll know what that means. Jenna sings the song beautifully. The only problem is that this song is way too low for her, so we need to move it up a few keys in order to get the most we can out of her voice. Take off your capo, play the same chord shapes, but sing it an octave higher. I don't know if I'm wrong, cause she's only just gone. Here's to another relationship, bombed by my excellent breed of gamete disease. Do you hear the difference? Sometimes just changing the key can have a huge impact on a song. She sounds way better here, but there's just one problem. Since we raised the key, that means there's a high note there that wasn't before. What I can tell you that I hear is that your voice shines a lot more in that key. Okay. It's just, it's just more, it's a more natural resting place for your voice. Sure, when I'm older, I'll know what that means. So you're doing beautifully and singing in that chest voice. Just do me a favor real quick and just say, me, 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 just pop right up to it. Just grab it, run. Don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. Beautiful. You feel the difference there? Yes. Good. What's the, what do you feel is different there? It just feels more like I'm putting more power behind it. it just feels more powerful. After raising the key in just a few exercises, Jenna's doing really well on those high notes. What a difference from the beginning of the lesson. All right. So I don't know if I'm wrong, cause she's only just Here's to another relationship bombed by my excellent breed of gametes disease. I'm sure when I'm older, I'll know what that means. As we wrap things up, it's important for us to talk about the things that were working in Jenna's voice and the things that weren't. What did you feel was the best exercise for you today? Uh, going on just finding that deepness within myself, I think was really important. I don't think I've ever tapped into that before. What Jenna's talking about here is hitting high notes with the power of her chest voice. It's what we call singing with a mix, and it's something every great singer should learn. It takes practice and the right vocal technique, but it's totally worth it. You get the award for most changed voice in a single lesson, <laughs> because you came in and it was like, and then I give you like two exercises and you're like, ah! After I left, we asked Jenna how she thought the lesson went. So I was imagining that I'd get in here and be like, ah, oh, no natural talent. Flip the keyboard and... Then we asked what she thought of me as a teacher. Matt was just so positive and gave really good, like constructive feedback, but without being abrasive. Because of how nervous I was, um, I just felt like I was completely at ease. So that was really good, and I surprised myself a couple of 